Today, Today we're going to teach you 10 amazing, amazing tricks, tricks for, for kids. kids. Hey, wait a minute, where did he go? Stick around until the end of the video for our favorite trick. And make sure you stick around at the end of the video for an awesome giveaway and give a big thumbs up for my friends for helping us out. Let's do this. Everybody loves blowing bubbles. And if you get the moisture on your fingers just right, you can catch a bubble. And then it turns into a glass ball. Do you want to learn it? Yeah! This is so simple, you guys. Watch this. All you have to do is have somebody blow some bubbles, or if you have one of these fancy machines, just blow out some bubbles. Have this hidden in your hand. Just hide it in your hand, in a fist, right? Go like this. And then when you see one that's about the size of your ball, just replace it with this. Just go boop. Yeah. Let me show them up close exactly how to do it. You want to try it? Yeah. Okay, here you go. What? Come on, how did you do that? All you have to do is get a glass or plastic ball, hide it in your hand, and keep your first two fingers free so that when you see a bubble in the air, you can reach forward and replace it with this. And all you have to do is reach forward and go bink to your fingertips and it replaces the bubble and it looks like magic. This next one is like a magic puzzle. Check this out. I have a dollar bill with a window in it right here, like a little door. Now, if you were to hold on to that flap right there, just, there's no way if I had you shut your eyes that I could do something and have it literally be like this and have it reversed, right? There'd be no way. How can you be on the other side unless you were able to shrink down and walk through this little door? That's the only explanation, right? Okay, I'm gonna teach it to you and then you can do it to my friends at home. You're on the back of the dollar bill, right? Hold that door right there, hold it tight. Now, there's no way you could end up holding this with the dollar bill facing you. We're gonna try this illusion. Go ahead and shut your eyes. And what I'm gonna do is have you imagine that you're shrinking. You're getting smaller and smaller and smaller. You're getting so small. You're getting so small. Now just imagine that you've walked through that door and you're now on the other side. Open your eyes. You never let go? Okay, I'm gonna teach it to you, then you're gonna teach it to them. Let's do this. To do this magic trick, you're gonna to have to cut a little door in the dollar bill. You would have to do this exact spot to do it. You would find your measurements by, if you fold it in half twice, you would find the creases when you unfold it. And for the top lines, fold it in quarters again. And then you unfold it, and there are your lines. Then you cut the three lines and leave the, the middle so that the door can open and close. To get them to go from one side to the other, you would first want to fold the top part, then you'd want to fold the bottom part. You'd want to put these with the creases, trying to fold it in. Then you'd fold it like this. And it has to be this exact way with the with this part here. Then you would try you would try to force it through the hole so that the dollar bill would go from one side to the other. So he went from the front side to the back side. And he still And he never let go. Yeah. That's pretty cool. All right, for this challenge, I'm gonna see if you can take a playing card and take these scissors and cut a hole in any way you want that is one continuous piece, but you are able to walk through this card. Like actually put your head through it, put your body through it. How can you do that? You wanna try it? Sure. Wanna experiment? See if you can do it. This is gonna take forever. That's the biggest hole right there you can make? No. <laughs> is it big enough for you to walk through though? No. No, okay, let me show you how to walk through it. All right, you can take a business card, a playing card, a note card, any piece of paper, and you can cut it in a particular way where you actually can put your head through it or walk through it. Here's the secret. Fold your piece of paper in half, and you're gonna make a series of cuts from the top and the bottom all the way across the card about a quarter of an inch apart. And you don't wanna to get too close to the edge that you cut all the way through. You're gonna leave a border on every single cut. There's one, there's two and just continue this process all the way across. I'm gonna cut this very fat and very quickly. You can make these a lot thinner and with more precision to make the hole twice as big as this. 
So we've cut all the way across, kind of like made a, a comb. Now we're gonna flip it over and do the reverse, right between each of those, making sure you do not go to the end or you completely cut through your paper. So you have this zigzag situation going on. And now here you have one last special cut to do, and that is across all of these ends right here. So the easiest way to do this is just pry your card open and flat. And once you have your card or paper back open, you're gonna cut all through the middle, except do not touch the outside two edges. So get your scissors underneath the first edge, do not cut it, and make sure you cut exactly in the center all the way across until you meet that other outside edge, leaving it alone. At this point, you have an accordion, which you can open up really big, big enough to put your head through or walk through, especially if you make your cuts twice as thin as this, you can make it two, three feet round. How cool is that? It's fitting through your head. Yeah. I have a joker and a queen. I'm gonna put these cards behind my back and you have to try to guess which one I pull out. Let's see. I'm gonna take this one out. What's behind my back? The queen or the joker? The queen. The queen behind my back? No, it's the joker. Oh, so close here. Let's do it again. I'll take the joker and the queen. I'll put both cards behind my back. I'm gonna take one card out. What's behind my back? Uh, the... the queen or the joker? Joking. No, it's the queen. Oh, so close. Here, let's do it again. I have two cards, the queen and the joker. I'm gonna put them behind my back. I'm gonna pull one out. What's behind my back? Uh, the joker. No, the queen. Oh, and I can do this all day long because... <laughs> There's a secret. Is this just messing with your eyes right now? Let me show you guys how to make this. So here you have two cards. And then one, one is face to face, so they're both the same. And one is back to back. You glue them both together, back to back and face to face. You don't need to do the queen and joker. You can just do any card and then. Now I'm gonna show you the secret move. You first show them you have the queen. And then once you're turning the card, you wanna push this card to look like you have the joker too. They were here and then when you turned them, as you were turning, you did that. Yeah. As they were turning. So when so I'm then, watching this and you do it, I can't catch it. So that's why it's hard that. I want to show them. So, okay, here it is. Now go super slow, show them. And now you've already, wow, okay, there it goes, perfect. So if you do that fast, it fools the eye. That's crazy. And then now it's the actual trick. You put the two cards behind your back and then you say, I'm gonna bring one card out and guess what card it is and I'm looking at nothing. Oh, but you pretend you're looking at one of yeah. the cards. Got you, like, okay. Oh, okay. and then you go, what card is behind my back? Uh, queen. Joker. Oh, how, did you, how did you pull the right one out? Because I know what way I put the two cards. And then once you say card, and if it's the right one on this side, then you want to flip it around and say, oh, it was the Joker. Or if it was, if they said Joker, you want to go queen. And you can do this trick again and again and fool everybody. Oh, that's how you do it. While you're here, make sure you're a subscriber. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a card trick. So I got this new deck, you open it up. Here, you can shuffle these cards. Okay. Make sure they're all different. Yeah. Shuffle them and then look at the bottom card. I'm not looking. Can you put, put them back in here? and then close it. Okay. So you made sure I did not look at your cards. Mm -hmm. Okay, so imagining that your your card's a little bit like a, a darker color. Yeah. Does it have something to do with, you know, it's not really like numbers, but it's like, yeah. Like, yeah, and is, is it like a, the space? Yeah. Is it a jack? Yes. Oh, okay, go. Okay. Are you amazed? Yeah. <laughs> How do you choose that? Well, she is gonna teach us right now. Okay. So what is the big secret? It's a real deck of cards. 
What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a little slit in the corner of the box. So make sure you make a little window here, but that's still attached. And so you can see a little bit of the cards right there. So then you're gonna open up the cards. You're gonna have them shuffle it, shuffle it. So that's not suspicious at, at all. Here, shuffle. I'll shuffle them. Okay, you can shuffle them. Okay. So I know my bottom card. Okay, I have it. And then what do you do? Okay, then I'm gonna have you put them back in here, but I'm gonna cover this part. So I'm literally just sticking it in there and I know the bottom card and in a second you will. Close it up. Oh, I should close it, sorry. That's fine, because you have to. Okay, and then I'm gonna really quickly, I'm gonna open the little slit I had made in the box, but not far enough so that they know that there's something back there. And then you're gonna really quickly try to read the card. Once you know the card, just put the deck down. Okay, so I'm imagining that your card is it's like a brighter color. It's lower in like from one to ten. It's one of the it's kind of like halfway there. Yeah. And is it the five of hearts? I think it is. But the thing is, you gotta make it sure they don't see you opening this slit, and you gotta get the the thing fast enough so that you don't or, keep looking at the or box. Once they suspicious. give you, once they give you the box, you can just go like that, and while you're setting it down, once you're in solid. Car, you just say, I'm thinking. So another tip when you're doing this trick is you want to exaggerate it a lot more so it seems like more of a mind reading trick than um, just a regular old card trick. Just guessing the card, it's more yeah. like you're you're really struggling to get it. You're, yeah, you want to make it seem like everything is all random. You can see at home all the cards are different. I'm gonna shuffle them up and go ahead and pick any card you want. Okay, don't let me see it. You can put it back in here when you're ready. Aren't you gonna show it? Oh, you can show it to them if you want. Can you show the camera? Show the camera. Sure. Did I see it at home? Perfect. Now I'm gonna try something. You ever seen the rising card magicians do where you take cards and they rise out yeah. of the deck? I'm gonna show you a method you can do right now today with almost no practice. Watch this. Is that your card? Yeah. What? You want to learn it? Yes. Okay, I'm going to teach it to you. This one is really deceptive, but it only works for a very small angle. So if you're doing it to like one or two friends, yeah. what you do is you take a deck of cards. The cards are indeed completely random. You can shuffle them up. It doesn't matter. Have them pick any card at all. Now this part is important. You're going to cut the deck where they either chose the card or just cut the deck and you're going to have them place the card in the middle of the pack. Here's why. They're going to put it there and you're going to put these on top, but don't completely close the pack. You're going to put them together so they look closed from the front, but from the back, there's still a nice, what we call a pinky break or a break. So you're gonna keep that secret break here. And while you're talking to them, say, yeah. have you ever seen a magician rise a card out of the deck? Yes. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm gonna do that for you. Wow. Well, check this out. And then while you're talking, just cut the cards. Take that top part off. There's their chosen card right there and bring it to the top. Just cut the cards, really simple. Now their card is on top. That's his chosen card right here. There's your card, correct? Yep. Perfect. At this point, it's all acting. You're gonna go like this. Get some static on your finger, and you say watch. And you extend your pinky, and you magically rise their card out. And it looks so cool yeah. from their angle. Now you don't wanna do this. And then not have it touching or show your pinky ahead of time or afterwards. So it's just a little bit of acting and you can fool your friend. Do you want to try it to me? Let's go. Getting some static on my finger. Um, watch this. Whoa. What? I just brought up the king. Is that your card? Yes. Wow. Mind throwing. You're still here, so you obviously like this video. So smash that like button. Check out this bill. Make sure it's legit. You're smelling it? Oh, I like this guy. You smell his money. <laughs> Uh, it's perfect. You wanna check it out? It's real. Here's the back, here's the front, everything's legit. We're gonna try something. I'm gonna fold the bill and fold it again. Like this. And now I've made kind of like a, a stick, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see if I can do this. Watch. Isn't that crazy? And you're probably thinking there's something sticky on my hand. You can see the bill. Check out my thumb, there's nothing there. Isn't that weird? <laughs> you wanna learn it? Okay, so I'm gonna show you the secret and then you're gonna do it and teach them at home. You're gonna show them the dollar, it's a regular dollar, but you're gonna hide a nickel in your hand 
So you're gonna put it like right here. I'm gonna give them the dollar bill, they're gonna inspect it, make sure it's real. And then you're gonna say, okay, here, I'm gonna fold it up into thirds, and while you're folding it, you're gonna stick the nipple in there, like right here, and then you're gonna fold it up into thirds, and then you're gonna basically try to balance it. So now I'm gonna let go with this hand, and try to magically balance it. And then they're gonna think, how are you balancing this white thing That's with crazy. that nickel in there? That's not showing. To get rid of the nickel, you're gonna grab the end, and the nickel will just fall out into your hand, and you're gonna let them inspect it again. And then, they're gonna be amazed. What if they think something's sticky on your tongue? Well, okay. There's nothing on the dollar. And the real magic's right here. Pranks, magic, hacks. We're gonna teach you at home how to take an ordinary object and bend it with your mind. Are you ready for this? I have an ordinary paper clip. I'm gonna open it up. Can you go ahead and unbend it? Just open it flat for me. Perfect, flatten it out. So he gave me back a flat paper clip. Now watch as I push and bend this with my mind. To do this trick, first you want to take this paper clip. You want to give it to the helper and tell them that you want to make it flat. And they're going to try to make it as flat as they can. So you're going to take back the paper clip. And as you pretend that you're trying to make it flatter, you're just making sure there's a nice curve on there. Hold it so um, where it is um, flat to your or the, their perspective. Very slowly, you're rotating it to make it look like you made it curve when it was flat like this to your perspective. And as you're rotating it, make it look like your other hand is giving it energy to move very slowly. Now you can do magic with your mind. Let's go on to the next trick. For this one, you wanna get yourself a half dollar, a quarter, any kind of coin that fits in your hand nicely. For you, maybe a quarter would be perfect. For me, I like the visualness of a poker chip or a half dollar or a silver dollar. I'm gonna use a poker chip and I'm gonna make it vanish right through the table. For this, I want you to stand right over there. You're gonna show this mm -hmm. quarter. You're gonna rub it, and then you're gonna show it one more time. So now you're gonna rub the quarter again, but you're gonna secretly push it back. Meanwhile, it looks like I'm rubbing it with my fingertips, when really I have pushed it back, and then you're gonna catch it, but you're still gonna be rubbing up here. And then with your um, thumb and your pointer finger, you're sort of gonna grab them up and open your palms so that it's obvious that there's nothing there. And the quarter has vanished into my hand. All right guys, we have a rubber band and we're gonna do an absolute mystery. I'm gonna have this rubber band okay. penetrate flesh and bone. But not yours, mine. It's oh, gonna be okay. okay. Here's what you're gonna do. Pick a finger, doesn't matter which one, okay? Right. Okay, yeah. and grab it tight, okay? Yeah. Don't let go. I'm gonna get this rubber band onto that finger. Now there's no way I can do this unless this was able to stretch over me or over you or it opened up, which, which it doesn't, it's a regular rubber band. Yeah. Here's what we're gonna do. I don't want you to know the secret, so I'm gonna have you shut your eyes and you at home are gonna shut your eyes too. Watch this. Watch. Here we go. Now go ahead and open your eyes, open your eyes, open your eyes, and behold, what? I've gotten it on there. It's crazy, right? Yeah. Now the reason I had you shut your eyes at home is because I didn't want you to see how easy this was because you wouldn't believe how cool it is. So I wanted you to be wondering how did he do it? This is so simple, you guys. Here's the secret. The secret is you put another rubber band up your sleeve, up your jacket, up your shirt, and you already have it on your arm. Now watch this. I know you're so mad at me right now, yeah. right? Now watch this. You have him pick a finger. Go ahead and pick a finger. This one? Yeah. Watch, and you say you're gonna get this on here somehow and it's gonna drive them crazy because it doesn't make sense, it's so yeah. simple. And you have them shut their eyes. When they shut their eyes, throw this over their head, it's gone. Then reach up, grab the other rubber band, pull it over, and now say, open your eyes. Wow. And now it's on the finger, just like we said, 
and it makes no sense. It really blows your mind. Yeah. Yeah. And that is how easy some tricks can be. Ow! <coughs> oh, we're not done. There's even more. It's your lucky day. We're gonna teach you a bonus trick. That's right, and make sure you hit that like button and let's do this. Watch, take a playing card. And watch it levitate. Here's what you're gonna do. Take a business card or a playing card. You're gonna hold it diagonally by the corners right here. Hold it to your mouth and suck. You can make it drop and say, that was levitation. And kids will go, that was not levitation. Then do it again. Bring it back up and go. And then hold it in such a way that makes it look like it's levitating. How you do that is by holding it with your thumbs at the tips right here, and then your fingertips hide the fact that your thumb is holding it. And then you bring those outside fingers far away from the card as you move your thumbs and the card goes toward your fingertips. This is what it looks like from the back. Make sure to subscribe to The Best Magician on YouTube. And make sure to hit that little bell so you can get all the new updates when you post a new video. And thank you for watching and liking this video. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I forgot about the giveaway. Make sure you're a subscriber and that you've liked this video. Comment anything down below. I'll pick a random person and I'll send off one of my cool prank shirts right here. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.